Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, have some things that have happened. <laughs> um, we left two weeks ago today on Sunday after church, the 26th. And um, as typical fashion, we always go to my mom's in Texas after Christmas. And um, sorry, I'm waiting for my daughter to come out. She works at Sam's. So I'm just kind of waiting on her. I'm going to get her a couple things. Anyway, <clears throat> um, she'll text me back, I'm sure. And I'll see it <laughs> in a second. And my battery is low. But anyway, we left and... Um, Went to Texas, drove to Texas. We got there Monday, um, late afternoon, evening. My brother was there from Alabama and his family. And when we got there Monday, we found out that my cousin that had stayed with us over the weekend tested positive for COVID, like stayed with us in the car, in the house. And so we immediately were like, oh wow, that's a pretty, pretty direct contact. Um, and then when we got there, we also found out that my cousin, I mean, my nephew, my brother's son, had a direct contact. So we're like, okay, <laughs> this is not good. So um, we ended up, we actually were, Sean was coughing on Sunday um, as we left. And I was like, <clears throat> you know, it's probably just a cold or allergies or whatever. And then when we found out on Monday about the other two, we were more concerned because Sean just kept coughing um, every day. And I kind of got it started to where I started coughing some. And we kind of were suspicious that we were maybe positive, especially with the direct contacts and um, feeling a cough and everything coming on. And so we, we um, Thursday that week, went and got tested. We couldn't find any tests. And we found a drive-through testing site there in Texas where my mom lives. And so we went through this drive-through test and that afternoon they, conf they sent us an email confirming that we had tested positive. Um, so we were pretty sure that mom was going to get it because Harrison was sleeping with my mom. We were all in the same house. We were all together and my mom's not vaccinated. So I've always been kind of worried about that. So I was actually kind of thankful that we were together with her so we could kind of watch her and make sure she was going to be okay. Um, cause she has heart issues and she's unvaccinated and she's older, you know, and stuff like that. So we all like spent the week together um, going through COVID. We were also packing my mom's house because my mom is moving to Oklahoma next to my other brother. And so we packed every day that we could. Some days we didn't feel good. Sometimes we would pack some days, part of the day, whenever we could, we packed. So we ended up packing up the whole house almost um, during our COVID week. And we all did pretty good. Like we had a, couple, a day here and there where it was a little rougher. Uh, my mom had some chest congestion, but nothing unmanageable. So um, we thought, okay, well, we're kind of through it. We've went through a week of what should have been like the worst of it. And everything seemed to be okay. Um, so we were going to leave on Thursday, um, Thursday morning, the next week after we got tested, and come on back home. Um, Mom was seeming to do okay. She had some chest congestion, but she seemed okay. And we felt pretty comfortable to leave. So we drove all day Friday. Well, actually, step back before that. Um, Harrison had some blood and some mucus in his stool and I called his pediatrician on Wednesday um, before we left and they were concerned and they wanted me to take him to urgent care or the hospital and I was like for one thing there's no children's hospital here he needs a children's hospital and I'm out of state I'm not home I'm out of network I have no insurance and I just didn't feel comfortable. I said, we're leaving in the morning. Can I please take him home? I'll take him to Children's. Because they said, we don't even want you to take him here. We want you to take him straight to Children's because they need to do an ultrasound and stuff. So we did that. They said, yes, as long as he doesn't run a fever or he has severe stomach pain or any more blood, then it's okay. Otherwise, take him immediately. So we headed out Thursday morning. Um, this is a week after we tested. A week and a half, at least, a little over, that we got there. And so we headed out Thursday, and like I said, this is Sunday, and we drove all day. We drove about 10 hours. It's a long day in Texas. <laughs> There's a lot of t driving in Texas. We did over 700 miles. We made it to Raton, New Mexico, Thursday night. The hotel? Yeah. And last night we go to the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go to the beach. <laughs> there was a 
and uh, but it was it was nice drive. It was all clear. There was no bad weather, no um, no precipitation. It was cold, but the weather was great. In fact, the sunset coming through the um, past Amarillo towards New Mexico was at sunset and it was absolutely breathtaking. I said, I know what like the frontier people must have felt like when they were like coming over on horses, like riding into the sunset mess. Like I could totally see riding into the sunset uh, because that, that sunset was beautiful coming through the plains of West Texas into, uh, yeah, into uh, West Texas past Amarillo. And so um, we drove, uh, we got to Raton, New Mexico, Raton, New Mexico, um, about eight o'clock, a little bit before eight o'clock, we made a really good time. Um, but we traveled over 700 miles on Thursday. No clothes on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't tell. I have this squishy ball. Yeah? What did you get that for? I get that for my present. Yeah, what'd you get a present for? For, for, for my birthday. No, it's our travel. Uh, travel goodie bag. Anyway, this hotel is really nice, and we came, we came in from the outside over there, from the outside or the inside, and this is the inside, and the pool is down there, and all the rooms, it's like a courtyard in the middle, it's kind of chilly though in here, and then over there is like the front desk, and there's a gift shop and stuff like that up there, so anyway, super pleased. And then we uh, stayed in the hotel on Thursday night. We had promised Harrison that we would take him swimming. Um, so Friday morning we woke up and we took him swimming. Simulates the outside. Yeah, it is. It's kind of nice to have an outside entrance and an inside entrance too, though. It's kind of cool. You sure? Yeah, I called him, remember? Yep, it in. It's not open. Okay, open. It wouldn't let us in. We'll go. I love rocks. Come in. Huh? The rocks. Yeah, and I felt them. They're loose. I thought maybe they were like glued, but they're loose. That's a, that is the, the, the emblem for New Mexico. Who is it? I'm scarred. Because oh. it's already cold outside. Like, I don't want to get super, what? super cold. Have you been outside? Yeah. You have? Well, I just was about the door. No, I went outside. Yeah, I was at the door. It's pretty chill. Okay, Daddy's, Daddy's going to do the test. I feel like it probably is cold. Even if it's heated, it's cold. No. No? It's bath water warm. Really? Yeah. No, it's bath water warm. It's, it's actually warmer than like he likes it for a bathtub. All right. Uh, they had like an indoor pool in like the courtyard and honestly it wasn't cold. I thought it'd be freezing cold and it wasn't um, Harrison had a lot of fun just getting in the water. We weren't in there too too long um, And uh, what was really cool was um, They brought back breakfast to our room, but because of COVID their restaurant They're not having uh, breakfast served publicly um, You call the restaurant you tell them what you want. It was like hot breakfast or cold or muffins or whatever. They had a list and you told them what they brought it to your room. It was really, really cool. So we had breakfast and then we took him swimming um, to the pool there in the courtyard and we had a lot of fun with him. He, he enjoyed that. Um, and so then Friday we took off. We only had a three hour drive home. So we actually didn't even leave the hotel until like 11. Um, and then we came into Colorado, like the next town is Colorado. And uh, of course was welcomed by the beautiful Colorado mountains. I, I do not like the cold in the winter, but I will always love um, the beauty of our home state. We, uh, it's not our home state, but it's our home now. It's our home state now. And so um, the, the mountains were beautiful, snow-capped mountains as we come across the Raton Pass uh, into Colorado. And so what we did was, is we stopped at, um, Sean took us directly to Children's Hospital. It's five minutes from our house, the, the southern campuses. And so I took Harrison in and had him checked in. Probably what he's going to do is check your belly and see if your belly hurts. Yeah. What's that say up there on the TV? Welcome. Welcome, Harrison. <gasps> it's your name. How did they get your name up there? <laughs> My answer. How did they get your name up there? Uh, uh, Thinks he's on the phone. 
Who are you talking to? I'm just watching the, I'm just watching the guy talk to me. Uh, uh, he has a plan for me. Hi. One. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm going to move this guy one. Okay, your turn. Pop it. Five. You can move either one. You can move five. Um, I had actually brought his stool sample, his stool with me. And so after talking to the doctor, he, uh, there was this word. I can't, I'll put it in here. Um, I can't remember how to say it but they were kind of concerned that he had this it's where your bowel like overlaps a, a, um kind of balloons into itself and so they did a ultrasound and um and we waited forever <laughs> they did a stool sample and so um but but everything checked out okay uh, they just said if any, any of these things happen, if he has a fever, if he has any more, if he has blood, whatever, bring him back. And so right now, everything looked okay. Uh, the doctor thinks it might have corrected itself. So, we went to Texas. <laughs> we got COVID. We quarantined with my mom. I got home here this weekend, and yesterday, she is deathly sick. Like, she is in bed. She can't get out of bed for the last two days. So now she's really sick, so we're concerned about her. But we got COVID, we got through it. I mean, we're pretty much through it. We're still battling some fatigue, and as you can tell, I've got like some congestion going on. But, but we're okay. Um, and then Harrison had a little, 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 not a scare, but some concern. So we did the hospital trip with him, and uh, now we're back home. So it's been kind of an eventful couple of weeks. But we're just so glad to be home. I wanted to catch you up on what was going on. We finally got the big C and uh, we're okay. We're doing good. So I love you guys. Thank you for following our channel. Make sure you like this video. Uh, make, sure, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some stuff in the works that I'm going to share with you guys this spring. Some new videos that I want to do for you. So um, yeah, make sure you subscribe so that you can follow us. Uh, we do travel vlogs. We do... Um, lifestyle vlogs, mommy vlogs, things like that. But anyway, I wanted to catch you guys up. Thanks for following this video and we will see you guys in our next video.